Ah, oh, Mario, everybody's favorite Italian plumber who's been around for years and will be around for many more years to come. For many people, myself included, Mario was a huge part of our childhood. But for me specifically, it's when Mario got his third dimensional facelift that I got hooked on the platform genre. Mario 64, baby. If that wasn't a rage-filled crack addiction that made you feel good and bad all at the same time, then I don't know what is. The jingle of getting a star that you platformed your little heart out to get is probably better than sex, right? Yeah, sorry, Virgin Sky here. Sex is probably fun, but I got Mario, and he's great. Since Mario 64, I've played all the 3D Mario games. Galaxy 1 and 2, 3D Mario World, Mario Odyssey. Man, I have played all of them. And while they do change the gameplay up a bit from game to game, they do it in a way that still feels like Mario. To quote the opinion god himself, BW I Hate Platformers, All Mario games are the same except for a gimmick. And honestly, the more I thought about it, he's right. Mario 64, it was the first 3D Mario. It was great. Galaxy 1 and 2, Mario in space. Odyssey, he has a ghost hat now. That being said, I still love all of these games. Nintendo knows how to add just a little bit to every Mario game, but still making Mario feel like Mario. It's worked this long, so why break it? Well, that's it. I just wanted to tell you that I really like Mario games. And with the new release of 3D Mario All-Stars, I'm really excited to go back and visit my two favorite Mario games, Mario 64 and Mario Galaxy. That's the mailman. He probably beat the hell out of my package. Let's go take a look. It's on fire again! There's a third game on here. Super Mario Sunshine, the 3D Mario game that will have you saying, damn it, come on, no, shit, god dang it, Mario. Well, F me. Fuck, dude, F. What am I doing? I never had a GameCube growing up, so I missed out on Sunshine as a kid, but I've always wanted to play it. So with the new 3D Mario All-Stars, I thought, what the hell? I've got nothing going on. No girlfriend taking up all my sweet gamer time. Guess I'll play another Mario game. Dear Lord, this is not just another Mario game. Sunshine almost broke me at times. This is probably the hardest 3D Mario game I have ever played. But it was also one of the most rewarding and not so rewarding 3D Mario games. Yeah, I'm sure like everyone else, I was just as conflicted playing through this game for the first time. I will say though that I knew nothing going into this. I had no outside opinions other than my own love for Mario games. So I went in hoping that I would love it. And in many ways I did. But like any relationship, you tend to find things about the other that just f***ing suck. Sunshine starts off with Peach and her harem of men on a plane flying to an island for a vacation. Once they land, they find Icky Goop plaguing this runway. Mario, being the fine, kind, loving, normal human that he is, decided to help clean up by picking up this water machine called Flood. He and Flood clean the place up, and then Mario gets arrested. These dumb frickers arrest Mario for vandalizing Isle Delfino, even though I just got off that airplane. That one right there. Look, these two are witnesses. Peach, say something. You, you f say something. I just cleaned you off. Yeah, this game has your performing community service the whole time, but don't worry, it's actually kind of fun. These islanders really suck at taking care of their homeland. I mean, look at these lazy peepees. These dudes are just out here dancing. Nobody cleans up anything. If they got paint on them, they just sit there and wait for good old Mario to blow them off. Oof. Well, you know what I mean. Look at this guy. I've been stranded out here for three years. Listen, buddy, this isn't exactly the Mississippi. You can do it. Or stay here, your choice. No sweat off my balls. The Islanders are pretty dumb, but I love them. Mario in this title controls incredibly well, and with the addition of Flood, your move sets are, as Jakey would say, pretty baller ass. You can side jump, triple jump, dive, butt smash, and even belly slide. But they did take out my beloved long jump, one of my favorite moves Mario can perform. At first it really bugged me, but I learned to get over it pretty quickly because of all the additional moves that they added with Flood. Flood, the really OP super soaker, is freaking amazing. You have several nozzles that all do various things. You got the jetpack nozzle that lets you fly a good distance, allowing you to get to different locations. The regular nozzle that sprays, but also allows you to do Mario's highest jump, the spin jump. You can spray the ground and belly slide really fast. You can do a shotgun blast, spray water everywhere blast, or even spray fat guy in the face blast. You later get a rocket blast that allows you to fly straight up in the air, and also another jet nozzle that you don't use very much, but it allows you to charge up and run fast and smash into things or speed across water. 
That has to be one of my favorite parts about Sunshine. I love how they say, here's what you can do, and there's where you're supposed to go. So have fun, Timmy. See you for dinner. Sunshine gives the power of choice to the player, allowing you to decide how you want to get from location to location. There really are many ways you can complete objectives, and with Mario's packed arsenal of moves, it's really up to your creativity. You could spin jump and then jetpack your way over, or you can side jump, then wall jump, and damn, you're up there, son. A sneaky way that Nintendo went about giving you a tutorial on how you can play is all the times you have to chase Shadow Mario down, who's the asshole that got you arrested by the way, and spray him with water. Watching how Shadow Mario jumps around the maps is Nintendo's way of saying, hey listen, you can do this Tish too. I hated chasing the scumbag around, he's elusive as frick and so hard to catch. But I mean this man's got some sick parkour moves, so pay attention to daddy, you might learn a thing or two. The main theme of this game is the tropical island theme, and it is very obvious from the get-go. Of course, Delfino Plaza is a good introduction to this. Plus, it was a lot of fun to just explore and find secrets hidden throughout it. Very good hub world, probably one of my favorites for sure. To enter each new level, you have to spray these chocolate piranha plants, and once you kill one, it brings up some building that was hidden underground? Oh, that one just came out of a dock. This game is very weird and quirky, so just accept it and you'll be happier. Each level has episodes that you can complete by doing a specific task and getting a shine sprite at the end of it. Very similar to Mario 64 in that aspect. Some shines are really quite fun to get while others make you want to eat glass. The only problem with that is games like 64 and Galaxy you get to choose whether you want to eat the glass or not because you only need 70 stars to beat the game. So you pick and choose which stars you want to get. In Sunshine however, you don't. To progress the game you have to complete the first 7 episodes of each level so no skipping for you. And don't worry, there are plenty of f you shines to get throughout the game. Like this one. <laughs> Come on. Don't dick me like this. Or this one. You son of a bitch! Why can't you throw straight? Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> So, not every shine is created equal. All the secret shines you find throughout Delfino Plaza, yeah, those, those are just for fun. They don't help you beat the game at all. Kind of worthless. Another aspect that is pretty worthless as well is the blue coins you collect throughout each stage. You need to collect 10 and then you can cash them in for a shine sprite. But once again, they don't add to progressing the story. They are just there for you if you want to 100% the game. But I don't 100% games because I'm a filthy casual. The hardest part about collecting blue coins is that there are 30 in each of the 7 areas. But there is no indicator telling you how many you've collected in each area. Just a running total. Plus in each area, the coins are limited to each episode. So some coins you can only get by playing a specific episode. In the end, you may have to play through certain episodes twice to collect all 30. The part that was the hardest for me that I absolutely loved and hated at the same time was how this game doesn't hold your hand at all. I hated it because all the game says is go there. You get to decide how to get there and once you get there you have to figure out what the hell to do next. I can honestly say that most puzzles in Mario games aren't that hard but there were so many times in Sunshine where I just couldn't figure out what the hell to do. There was this boo hotel where the owner was like, hey, I got ghost problems. So I said, I mean, hey, call my brother, he's a ghost buster. But this guy was like, nope. I thought I needed to kill all the boos in the hotel, so I did, but nothing happened. After jerking the ween for 20 minutes, I happened to notice this portal in the boo statue. Another episode in the hotel has you killing King Boo, but I couldn't figure out what the hell to do. Listen, Flood, I know, do something about the tongue. But what the hell do I do? Boo likes fruit but hates the spicy pepper. Yeah, you have to throw the pepper and then throw a fruit afterwards. Another episode in the same hotel has you trying to figure out how to get this shine in the hot tub because this fat bastard won't move because I don't have a swimsuit. Listen, bitch, I swim with my clothes on, now deal with it. He didn't buy it. So I spent another good chunk of time trying to figure out how to get into that room. Well, there are tiles that you can ground pound through and other secret passages to navigate all the hotel rooms. I hated how hard it was, but I loved it at the same time. Because once you solve a puzzle you've been stuck on, you feel like a freaking genius. In the end, you really need to use your gamer instincts because sunshine is hard as frick. There are other episodes where Shadow Mario takes away Flood and you have to rely on your platforming skills to get to the shine. These levels were fun for the most part and made you feel freaking awesome as you parkour your way through them. One in particular had me baffled at how I was supposed to get up a wall but my Super Saiyan platforming instincts kicked in and I baller assed my way up. Man, I, I really like saying that, baller ass. Yoshi also makes an epic comeback, but instead of just popping its egg and riding it, Yoshi only comes out of the egg when you give it a specific fruit. Why the hell would you take this fruit? You can't even tell what fruit it is! You're in an egg! Damn Yoshi and your precise palate. Yoshi has cool moves, I guess, and can spray fruit juice out of its mouth. 
Overall, Super Mario Sunshine was a fun experience. It was challenging and one of the hardest 3D Mario games out there. Solving puzzles and platforming your way to victory in whatever way you choose to do feels great. Mario Sunshine has its flaws, and let me tell you, they stick out. But if you are a Mario fan and a fan of platformers, don't forget about this one. Seriously though, those chucksters can lick my hairy ass. You're committing murder! Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe or there will be a spider under your pillow tonight. And as always, keep it rad.